just BMX the game. I was given this code to review the game and well great thing about being from the 90s is I played a lot of Tony Hawk and Matt Hoffman's Pro BMX. The bad thing is this takes more skill than those games because those are more arcadey and for the score. So you're not going to see epic, skillful gameplay, but... <laughs> but I'm not going to lie, this game is pretty good. It's optimized for my old computer. It plays pretty well. This is one of the maps, uh, Bike Tunnel. has a lot of just back and forward. If you want to practice your jumps, you have enough space to do so. You do need a controller to play this. I'll show off some of the customizations after I pull off one more decent trick. Is there a way to go backwards that I don't know? All right, well, I got this. Load. Oh, that one time. That time I got a lot of air. Alright, so that's one of the maps. They have a little tutorials, controls, pretty straightforward. Tutorials, they show you uh, little videos of how to do things, which is great if you're someone like me coming from an arcadey uh, bike or skateboard game, learning these new uh, tricks visually helps a lot. Oh, if you press... Oh, I wonder if I can do that. Nope, I messed that up. Okay, it's weird, I can't. I need more practice. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna fall off. Hey, grinding, nice. All right, I'm gonna show off the other maps, but yeah, you can basically go through these tutorials and learn how to play the game. So that's helpful. Notifications. Replayer, record yourself, settings. Right now I currently have 60 to 70 FPS. So that's great. Game's running pretty smooth. So if you want to go through the parks, you can go through Halloween Park, City, which is work in progress, Bike Tunnel, El Bourne, and La Poma. Uh, I can't click on La Poma right now, so I'm guessing that's still in in the works uh, you have tournament i'm not sure what that is i can't click on it yet there's notifications progress obviously learning i love how they use the book bmx for dummies <laughs> that's great obviously exit friends so you can see the credits and everyone who supported or everyone who worked on the game the options media i think that's where you check is that a ps2 holy crap I just noticed that it's a PS2. So you can save screenshots and you can save replays. That's cool. That's nostalgia right there. This is definitely for them 90 kids, early 2000 kids. If you love these type of games that I love it when devs add little Easter eggs like that. PS2. Nice. 
uh, parks. You can build your own parks, which is great. Really great. So that's cool. Body, you can customize yourself. They're going to add more body types, complexion, head shapes, eyes, ears, nose, mouth, mandible, hair. They said they're going to be adding more hair options. Character, you can be male or female. So you can do all that to customize your character. Then you have clothes, which they do have a wide variety of clothes, which is always great. This is part of the Halloween update. Then you have some normal type gear. Beanies. Eyes, you can change your eyes. Ears, I'm guessing piercings and glasses are soon coming soon. Neck, maybe uh, scarves or... Uh, Shigmach, I don't know how to say them, but I like those. Um, necklaces, chests, there's a pretty decent amount of shirts. That looks like Jack Skellington. Pretty nice. Elbows, probably knee pads and stuff. Wrists, probably watches, whatnot. Hands, they'll probably add more gloves for sure. Shorts. Probably knee pads, ankle socks, but so there's there's a decent amount of customization options for your character. Of course, they're gonna add more. This game is in early access. Bike, you can customize almost everything on your bike, which is pretty awesome. Pedal left, brake caliper, rear. You can go through every single piece and upgrade it. So if you love customization, they got it. And obviously they're going to add more. I think right now they're in the phase of trying to find a harmony of releasing content and releasing uh, fixes, optimizations. But in my opinion, the game's running pretty great. I haven't ran into any bugs. Um, we'll write on, uh, this is the Halloween park. So this is what the new update that just hit right now. If you want to check out the trailer or check out the game, um, this is the newest content that just came out. Version 0 0.7.21. So in the Halloween park, they give you a ghost ghost bike and the park is pretty big and there's a lot of detail little um lights and jack-o-lanterns everywhere candles lit up uh, this map is pretty big and i still have decent frames so game is optimized which is great because you you would be surprised how many 64 dollar triple a games come out and they're still not optimized. I remember back in the day buying Battlefield 4. It took them six months to get that game stable. And they got the budget. That's like no excuse. But the fact that these devs... That these devs are putting their heart into it. If you look at their... Um, in the credits section, they thank you. They're keeping up with feedback. If you look in the Steam store, just the past two months alone, there's been four updates two major ones and two optimization uh, bug fixes, uh, minor updates, which is, it shows that the devs care. And in this day of age where devs, well, it's, it's not even the devs, publishers, you know, in this day and age where publishers dictate how fast the dev has to shell out a game and how unoptimized it is, it's great. It's refreshing to see when devs actually put heart into their game and have the time to put heart in their game. Yes, this is an early access game, but you can see the potential. There's early access games that come out and you know where they're gonna go and it's usually nowhere, but this is one of those games where it is as advertised. You wanna, if you've been yearning for a pro BMX game and 
you, you're really into that. If you played Matt Hoffman's back in the day and you wanted something as realistic as Skate was, then this is probably the game for you because it, it is what it is. It's advertised as a pro PMX game. Obviously, I suck. <laughs> but if you get it down in practice, I mean, it works fine. I'm using a, a crappy 360 controller. It, it's not even first party. The game is taking my inputs. I have no issues, no bugs. Um, any issues with me falling is pl player error, not a dev error. I haven't had frame dips. I haven't had issues inputting anything. So the game is hella optimized, which is always great to see. And then the fact that the devs are taking feedback, the fact that the devs are still working on the game, and showing love like if you check out their discord if you check out their tweets if you check out even in the updates they're thanking you for your support and that's always great to see but yeah this is a big map there's a lot of stuff to grind on i'll try to grind on something real quick Like I said, blame it on my skill. Oh, I almost fell, but that was a that was a eh grind. <laughs> Whoops. But there's a lot to do. I like it. It's not bad. I think it's uh let me check right now. It's Christine. It's twenty four ninety nine. What is this? So it's twenty four ninety nine. It is as advertised. I I think that's a pretty decent price to be honest. And they're still updating it, so you're paying for something that's gonna give you what it says it is. Um. You're getting more content as it comes. It hasn't even hit full release yet, and they're on it. They're on the updates. They're on the content drops. So. You buy it now, you're definitely going to get more in the end versus AAA titles right now. You buy it now, you usually don't get crap except for horrible microtransactions or um, a buggy mess. So if you're really into these type of games, I highly suggest you get it. This is one of those ignore the early access and play it for the fun type of games because... I feel like a lot of people have that, oh, it says early access, I'm going to bypass it and not, I'm going to overlook it. And unfortunately, gems like this that need your support to survive get overlooked. And then people cry that these games don't exist. So please, if you're really into this type of game, check them out. Get the game, try it out, play it drop some videos because you guys might be better than I am. <laughs> I'm over here falling. But yeah, let me just go over. Whoops. I fell off. Let me go over the past couple updates to give you an idea how much they care about the game. So they got trailers on the Steam page. Oh, see, description. BMX the game is the new era of BMX games made by a passionate team of this sport, which wants to deliver the game that BMX community deserves. The main game mechanic of BMX the game consists of performing tricks and acrobatics with the bike while roaming freely around the Barcelona city, providing different scores according to its complexity and difficulty. Game features realistic physics, free ride, famous BMX spots and bike parks, intuitive gestural control system personalized characters bike editor clothes editor replay editor powerful park editor construction mode props placer expansion and evolution through new updates a long time will offer exclusive and attractive contents and new game modes more city and incredible parks cool clothes and customization setting the ground for future content expansions now if you look at the updates obviously Halloween update came out October 29. There's a bunch of fixes right there. 
Then you have the major update came out October 20th. Okay, that was that was only like a week. So they came out with two big updates with a lot of fixes. That's great. And then a hot fix September 30th. Another update September 25th. Another update September 10th. So, okay. I was mistaken. I was thinking in the past two months they did four updates. They did more than four. And in the past couple weeks, they've been updating the game. So, like I said, these devs care. And if you want to support a project that is cared for by the devs, then this is the type of game you need to get into. I'm, I'll probably uh, do another review once tournament comes out, because I'm interested to see what that is. Um, I'll show you another map. So I showed you Halloween Park. I showed you Bark Bike Tunnel at the beginning. I don't know if I can play this one. Okay, I can. So I'll show you this one. This is another map that they have. You can practice and ride freely while the city is loading. Oh, okay, that's what it is. Work in progress. Well, this is good if you want to practice. If you're a scrub like me and you want to practice doing tricks because you need um you need the space. This is probably the map to practice on. I don't know if the devs are going to check this video out, but if you if you guys ever add um, blood effects and more ragdoll, that'd probably be a... I mean, it's not a make or break. Y'all don't got to add it. But if y'all do, I, I would enjoy that in this game because falling, since I can't do anything skillful, falling would be very entertaining. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> okay. Rip. Yeah. All right, I'm going to wrap up this review. I'm just going to show off the last couple maps. Oh, I didn't know it was going to do this. This is holy crap. <laughs> I freaking fall off. This map is huge. Okay, I thought the I thought the Halloween map was big. Rip controller came off. Okay, here we go. Oh man, this map is big. I actually like this. Oof. I shouldn't have done that. I need to try... Uh... I need to try jumping without doing the spin thing because I keep doing that. There you go. Oh, yeah, this map is big. Oh, okay, okay. There's the barrier. I was about to say, there ain't no way. <laughs> Still no dips in FPS, though, which is great. And to give you some uh, context, I'm running a GTX 1050 Ti low profile, four gigabit uh, RAM, VRAM, 
and then i5 2400 so i i can guarantee most of you guys have better specs than that so you guys could probably run this game at higher don't be afraid to try it that's what i'm trying to say and don't let my lack of uh skills deter you from getting this game <laughs> But I will, once they drop more content, I will be dropping another review. Hopefully I get more skill by then. Ah, oh, man, I thought I had that. You can use public transport. What? All right. We're going to see the other map because I'm probably going to get lost in this map. There's a lot to do on this one. El Bon. I wonder how this game's going to be at version 1.0 because this game is already pretty solid. Like they can, the foundation is great. Like it, it's, it's great. So if they keep building upon that foundation, this game's going to get really good when it hits 1.0. This one's another good map. Practice your jumps in. <laughs> or practice your bells, since that's all I seem to be able to do. <laughs> Let me see. Where am I? 70 FPS right now. Oh, whoops. I like how the character feels. The character doesn't feel too weighty, but it doesn't feel too floaty either. It feels just about right. Because you know how when you play... Uh, Tony Hawk or Matt Hoffman's or Sean Murray's pro snowboarder, you have that floatiness where like you feel like you can fly across the map and skate has that weightiness that some people liked. Um, at the time, I didn't like it, but the weightiness on this character and the bike feels right. Like I don't feel like the game, I don't feel like I'm falling down or bailing because of the game. I feel like it's just me needing practice, which is great because if it's if you can tell between game and user error, that means that obviously play the game, get good, right? Sometimes you play a game and then you're like, I know I'm good, but I can't get to that point because the game's broken and you don't feel that with this, which is another great feature about this. Like I said, it just goes back to the devs. The devs know what they're doing. They really are passionate about it and it isn't just talk that they're trying to promote a game and act like they, yes, they're trying to sell a product, but they're not acting like it's a product. They're making it with, from their heart and you can tell. So if you're into these type of games, definitely check it out. Let me get one more good jump. That's not a good jump. <laughs> That's not a good jump. <laughs> All right, I'm going to I'm going to try because we're probably going to be here forever and this review is never going to end. <laughs> let me go. Let me go to the easy easy jump over here. Oh man, I didn't do it. <laughs> All right. 
appreciate you guys for stopping by. And if the devs come check this out, appreciate you guys for giving me the code. This is going to be a fun one. I will do another review once they uh, drop the um, the tournament and more parks. Oof. <laughs> That's random. But all right. Later. <laughs>